So we got a 2016 Volkswagen Jetta in the shop, and in this video we're going to show you how to do a rear brake job on it. Got these covers on the 2016 Volkswagen, and it, it's just a square cover, but it, it gives you the illusion that you have to unthread this here with a tamper um, 12 point torx bit. Torx bit. <laughs> um, but you just get your pick inside here, and you you kind of pull them off. So, so pull all these off and yeah, let them fall all over the place. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, we'll go on to the next wheel. We're getting ready to do the uh, rotors and the brake pads on this 2016 Jetta, and we're going to take the caliper off. And we got a 13 millimeter gear wrench over here. And I'm gonna crack these loose. And the pin is moving with it. So we're gonna get a 17 wrench to grab that. I right, just grab the inside with some needle nose to hold it. You need a real thin, thin wrench to get in there. It's probably like a 17 or 16. To crack it loose, it comes loose easy. I have to do the same thing on the top. Get the 13 out. All right, All right. I'm cracking this one loose now. And the caliper pins up moving, which is good. We're gonna loop them up. We'll get this one off and we're gonna slide the caliper back and then see if we have to rotate the piston or if it's just a collapsible one, we'll let you know. Yeah, it's a rotatable piston, so we're gonna crank this down. We'll show you how we do these. Um, they sell special tools for them. We can get around it. We just grab it with some water pump pliers. We put some um, vice grips on here, big vice grips to put a little tension and we'll collapse this. We got our brake pads off here. We're gonna pull our caliper pins out and make sure that they're good. We have to change the rotor, so we're gonna take the brake bar off and we're gonna find the bolt on the inside for the brake bar. Got a half inch drive extension set up and the brick and the long ratchet and all right, just crack loose. Hopefully the top one will crack loose. I'll take that one out. Steve's got a swivel on an extension going down our ratchet. But it's going to go together nice because it's all going to be never seized. All right, that should come right off. We're going to drill that hole right out. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's cut that bolt Get right now. <laughs> we got a T30 Torx bolt. And use an impact driver and give it a little shock. Let's move the rotor. It's going to need a little hammer. Okay, just pop that off. Yeah, we're going to collapse the piston on this thing right now. And, you know, there's special tools to do this and blah, blah, blah. We're going to show you the way that we do it. We're going to grab with some water pump pliers and some vice grips. And we're going to put just a little bit of tension with the vice grips. We're going to be squeezing like this. And as we ratchet this in, we'll know which way it's going to go. It's either going to go clockwise or counter. and we'll, we'll let you know which way it goes and we'll get this until it's bottomed down. And then after we get the thing all back together, when you're stepping on the brake, the piston's going to rotate and spin itself out until it touches the brake pad. So it's just a matter of getting this in. We did our brake boot inspection. The boot is good. It's not torn or anything like that. So once we get this rotated in, we'll take some of our brake caliper lube. We want to keep the brake boot lubricated so that it stays uh, moist and it doesn't dry rot. Um, and that's when you'll have some uh, cracks and you'll get some debris in there and that's gonna shorten the life of the caliper. So let me get the tools set up for this. All right, so we're tightening the piston in. And you can see the piston is turning and it looks like it's gonna go clockwise to suck in. You'll start to see this sh shrink down here. And I'm just being careful with the boot. Let me 
as you go in a little bit, you can tighten the vice grips up just a little bit. Reset. Now we'll tighten some more. Making sure we don't tear the boot here. Sometimes once it gets going, it'll just rotate itself in. And we're just gonna make sure we don't hit the boot. Put some vice grips back on it. Looks like it's in far enough. Yeah, boot in there. Okay. That should be in far enough. We're gonna put some, we're gonna get our new rotor back on. Never sees this. Get the rotor on. All right, let's go get the rotor. We're gonna put a little dab on our bolt over here. We cleaned up our rotor just to make sure and they gave us a new Torx bit bolt that I'm sure Brian's going to want us to use so we'll use the new one and we'll put some MCs on that so let's go slip this on. Yeah you definitely want to get the film off of your rotors. Line up the hole with the slot right here and they gave us two new Torx bits one with the uh, rotor and they gave us one with the baron. So we're gonna use the one with the baron. You should start this by finger. And that's all you need. Tighten that like that. Our bolts are lined up. So we could take a wheel stud just to make sure. Don't oh, drop it. Everything's gonna get moved. Everything's dry on this one. Okay, that starts there. And it starts over here. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go get our brake bar back on. And Brian has already lubed all the caliper pin boots with the synthetic caliper pin lube. So you can see them all nice and bouncing there. He took them off, lubed them all up, slid them back in. Make sure they're moving good. We got our bolts all lubed up so we can slide the caliper bracket back in place now and bolt this on. And we did that kind of up in the air. It was a little easier to show you, so we're gonna go back up. Okay, we're gonna slide this over. Um, so there was no, um, Brian didn't put any lube on here. We're gonna put some lube on there right now. This makes it a little easier to do. And he also didn't wire brush this, so we have to wire brush this. Just wire brushing this clean. And we have a little file that we like to use. I'm going to get that out right now and show you. So you want to hit these areas with the wire brush and the file so that the brake pads move around freely on them when it's back in the vehicle. Now that we like to use, I'm going to just clean it. Make sure everything's clean and flat. There's any rust that gets it right off. Okay, we're ready to go install it. I like to get the, the lube on now before I put it on because then I'm not slobbering around the rotor. So, so we got this here, we got our bolt. And now we're gonna slide this up into place in here. And let's see if we can get one of these bolts caught. Remember, you gotta start that thing right from the end. Alright, it's flat. Let's see if it's started. <coughs> so when I feel like it's started, I'll get the other back started too.
I was able to get this one started by hand after I got the bottom one in. And we're using our socket here where we got to use our, a swivel on it to get the top one on because it's so tight. Probably better off if I had a shallow 14, 12 point, I mean not a triple square. So this will so get it down till, till I get them bottomed. And then I'll use the regular long 3-8 ratchet to tighten them up. Okay, we got our bolt in there and I'm just gonna tighten it with the long. Man, it's that snug right there, that's good. And then we'll get this one tight. It's pretty tight, but it works. Okay, that's tight. The pads just they're the same identical inner and outer, and you just slide these in, and these are gonna sit against the spring cow are gonna sit against these, and that's a tension for the brakes. So let's put our brake caliper pin lube on here onto the boot. We want it to stay nice and moist. And hopefully we've collapsed it enough so it'll slide on. If not, it's Brian's fault. Let's <laughs> blame him. So the other pad goes on the other side of the rotor. There it goes. Okay. Slide that down there. Push the bolts in. Okay. Alright. And the springs are fighting you a little bit, but that's the way it's supposed to be. And then we've got our caliper pin bolts here which they gave us new one with a little bit of Loctite. They want us to use Loctite. They use Loctite. Let's push this one in. Okay, I'm gonna grab them with the little vice grips again. Got the 13 millimeter. So those are tight, and like I said, you need a very thin wrench to get in here. It looks like it's 17. I use a little needle nose. You're just kind of holding up the, the, the pin from spinning. So our pins are all lubricated. We got our new rotor on. Everything's never seized. We forked our barren, and we have the new brake pads on, and you can see the little clips right in there, the silver clips pushing back on the tension. Everything's tight. There's nothing loose. Then we can spin our rotor. We're just going to get the excess grease off this with a little brake clean and this side is all set it's going to be the same procedure on the other side just pump your brakes up when you're done yep. and uh you should be good to go okay so another thing so this is a 14 millimeter right this is a 3 8 extension fits right in there so if you guys are stuck and you don't have a 14 and you're trying to get the job done I could have used my shallow half, in, uh, my shallow three eighths extension today. It would have made things a little easier for me, um, and it will crack it loose. I've done it before, so if you can use the right tool, use the right tool. But if you're stuck, you can get a three eighths extension. It'll fit right in there.